Hello, Alec Lowe here with Harry Norman Realtors in Atlanta. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of picking the right real, realtor or real estate agent to work with either on the buy side or the sell side. I had a situation come up last Friday which I thought maybe might be uh, interesting to everyone uh, and this happens fairly frequently. Uh, I had buyers that had uh, interest in a home, a uh, real pretty contemporary house in town, priced right. We went in and we looked at it, we loved it, uh, wanted to make an offer on it. I uh, picked up the phone, called the listing agent. She said there were, it had been on the market one day. And she said, we already have three offers that are all, three offers are all over ask uh, price. and. So I immediately just um, ask her the questions, what is it that your sellers want in, the, in a contract? What's appealing to them? And so I quickly found out from her that the uh, sellers uh, were afraid that they were gonna sell the house, which they obviously were, quickly, without a place to move, and that it was important to them that they had enough time to find another home. And so they wanted at least uh, closing to be scheduled 60 to 90 days out. And so um, that was important information. And we were able to uh, react to that. Also too, um, I asked how strong the uh, financing piece was. And the listing agent told me that, uh, that she, uh, that all of the um, offers did have financing contingencies uh, and they were 80% loans, which were, were were good financing contingency offers. Uh, and um, we ended up, uh, my buyer was lucky enough to be able to offer cash. And so we were able to put the offer together as an all cash offer. Uh, we even further took the appraisal piece off the table because my wonderful uh, mortgage broker, Prosperity Mortgage, uh, told me about a, um, a, a program that some appraisers offer, which is for an added $150, they can do expedited appraisals and so um, and normally do them within 10 days. So we actually decided to go ahead and uh, take the appraisal contingency off the table, but just kind of quietly during our due diligence period, which we put at 10 days, uh, have an appraisal done so my buyer would know kind of where the house fell in as far as market value was concerned. So um, during this whole conversation back and forth with the listing agent, she happened to mention to me, she says, I've got to tell you something, Alec. She said, I, I, my sellers are giving me leeway to help them make the decision as to which offer to go with. And she says, I would much rather do business with you than I would the other three offers that we have on the table. And even though she and I didn't really know each other, I mean, I, I knew of her and I knew her broker, but I, and she obviously knew uh, Harry Norman, uh, but she was telling me in essence that her preference was to deal with a reputable firm and a professional realtor that she could work with and negotiate the contracts with. Because, you know, there are so many agents in this business that don't treat this as a, as a full-time job, as a profession, uh, and they don't know the contracts, and they don't know um, the inspection processes and what, what you know, is reasonable to ask sellers for. And um, so she tipped me off that if we, you know, offered a competitive offer, it may not be the strongest as far as, it may be the, not even the highest offer price, but they would be willing to go with us because of who the realtor was. So I think that is a very um, important thing to understand and to know uh, before you uh, start looking for property or you before you list your home, is make sure that you've got an agent uh, who, let's say you were putting your house on the market, you've got an agent that understands how do I handle multiple offer situations if we get to the point where we have multiple offers. What is it that we're looking for? Is it only price? Uh, is it closing date? Is it financing? Is it you know, uh, special stipulations? What are they asking for? So all of that kind of impacts the decision-making process. 
Uh, and having an agent, a professional agent, on both sides of the equation makes the process so much less stressful and easier to get to the closing table. So just a, a quick little piece of advice. Hope that helps. Hope you have a great day and uh, shoot me your questions. If there are any other realistic questions you might have, be happy to try to answer them for you. Take care.